Hi, my name is Ashley Day. I'm a second year accounting student from Missouri City, Texas, which is like right outside of Houston. I'm the youngest of two siblings. I have an older brother who lives up in Seattle. I ride from the people who are left after cancer has gone like the, and taken a life. Um, my grandma and grandpa were kind of high school sweethearts. They got married like when they were 20 and they lived their whole life together. And my grandma was a really strong woman. She definitely took care of my grandpa. Um, she cooked for him, cleaned, she did all the bills. She um, brought in a lot of their income. And she was diagnosed with cancer when my mom and dad just got married. So she had cancer for about 20 years before she passed. She had breast cancer. And when she passed away, it wasn't a sad thing. Like she had a long, hard fight and she was ready to go. She um, got to be the guinea pig for a lot of new medicines that they tried out in the 90s. But um, it's been like eight years since she's passed away. And I feel like everyone in my family's gotten over it and accepted it, except for my grandpa. He's still holding on to her, which is sweet, but it's really sad because he's, um, his health has deteriorated and um, you can just tell that he really misses her. So I wanna ride for those people. I actually heard about Texas 4000 through my mom's coworker. I had just gotten into UT my senior year of high school and my mom came home and she was like, you'll never guess what Miss Kintner's daughter's doing. And she like told me all about Texas 4000 and the ride and stuff. I was like, that's really cool, but like I could never do that. So props for her. But um, so my first week at UT, I was experimenting with different student organizations. And I went to one of the first flow meetings and Texas 4000 came in and showed the 2009 tribute video. And it really pumped me up and I was like, that's what they're doing, like they're doing it for a reason. And it made sense to me. And I turned to my friend who was at the meeting and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do that. And he laughed at me. And I was like, I've never had someone laugh at me for wanting to do something. So I went to the info session kind of to spite him and be like, look, I'm serious. And then once I went to the info session and I talked to some of the riders, I realized that this is something that I'm also really passionate about. And I wanna do it as well. I've met the most amazing people. I've never been in part of a group that's so inspiring and so passionate about something. Um, and the people we meet when we volunteer are just so touched by us and we give them so much hope. It's really nice to be involved with something bigger than myself. And it's nice to know that I'm fighting for something that I believe in and hopefully I'll be part of finding a cure.